Through the vote wins federal election lawsuit in Georgia. The conservative vote monitoring organization True the Vote's challenges to Georgia voters' eligibility didn't amount to voter intimidation in the 2020 election, a federal judge ruled on January 2. U.S. District Judge Steve C. Jones, in a 145-page ruling that was issued a little less than two months after the end of a civil trial, found that the defendants didn't violate the Voting Rights Act. Texas-based True the Vote, its founder Catherine Engelbrecht, and several others had raised questions about whether 364,000 Georgia voters were improperly registered because their voter registrations conflicted with their mailing addresses. Georgia law requires that voter challenges be made by other voters living in the same county. As two Georgia runoff elections, which were believed could determine control of the U.S. Senate, approached on January 5, 2021, the group narrowed its challenge list to about 39,000, eliminating those with a legitimate reason to live elsewhere, such as college students and active-duty military. They then found volunteers to make challenges in about 40 of Georgia's 159 counties. The runoff elections contributed to the charged atmosphere leading up to the Electoral College vote in Washington on January 6, 2021, when thousands of President Donald Trump supporters marched in protest. The march turned into a breach of the U.S. Capitol, which congressional Democrats have since sought to characterize as an insurrection.